My brothers and sisters in Christ, in the first reading today, we hear the, the continued uh, consternation, if you will, of the Sanhedrin on what to do with the disciples of Jesus now that they continue to preach in his name. And we hear the advice of Gamaliel in, in today's particular reading that where he says words that should give us pause for application in our own lives. His is a very kind of prudential one where he argues of just sit back and, and let this happen. If, if these people are doing it of their own will, then it will come to nothing. But if it truly is by the will of God, then to fight them might be to fight the will of God himself. And so we hear that this is, it sways them and they let the apostles go. But the, these words are one that we should pay heed to in our own lives on how quickly we can warp our sense of the will of God into our own will or vice versa. And that is at some point in seeking even honestly the will of God, seeking what is right, it can conflate with our own and we can suddenly become quick to, to snap in judgment of what is good, what is bad, who is acting properly in the name of God, who is not. And instead of constantly approaching with a heart of humility and discernment, even in the, the gospel today of the great multiplication of the loaves and fishes, we see that no one uh, amongst the, the disciples is expecting Jesus to do what he did. No one's expecting this, this boy there with some meager offerings to be the means by which Jesus does this great sign of his extravagance of his love. But indeed, it was the will of Jesus. We can be quick to condemn someone and say, well, that's not, that, that person's not of God because it doesn't fit our own expectations. But perhaps God is doing something that we haven't considered. Perhaps God forgot to fill you and I in on his will with another person. After all, God doesn't have to check with us. And so it, it's a good reminder that we need to be humble in how we, how we judge things. And that is to prudentially judge, we must, our, our first knee jerk should never be one uh, of condemnation, but should be one to, to observe and to consider and to pray. And so, even in the life of the church, uh, perhaps someone has an idea or an initiative and speaking on that doesn't mean everything goes, but sometimes it's a sit back. We don't always need to have the heavy knee jerk response. Sometimes Gamaliel's advice applies to us, which is if this isn't the will of God, then this ultimately won't work out. But if it is, then perhaps I should listen. I shouldn't be so quick to work against it. And so it tells you and I that we need to be humble. And our first inclination should be to listen, not just to other people, but to listen to God. And sometimes the patient response, as opposed to the harsh knee-jerk response, is the one most needed. Because just as God can do with other people things that we don't expect. In the same way, others may be shocked to know what God plans to do with you or with me. May God bless you all.